Hey, hey, hey! Good morning, Consciousness Creators Summit! It's my last live for January 2019 and it brings me absolute pleasure to be here live with you all. And um, today it's all about cutting the BS. <laughs> That's right, and I noticed one, some of you have already quest, started to question, what is BS? I will get onto that as soon as we start getting some people jumping on. Yes, good morning, Ali. Good morning. Jump on, jump on, jump on, everyone. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, Ali. Hello and welcome. This is the Consciousness Creators Summit, and it brings me absolute pleasure to bring you my life, uh, the last life for January 2019. So jump on guys, jump on. And this morning we're going to be talking about how it's about time to cut the BS. Good morning Janelle, good morning Noreen. And I just thought, how do you like the scenery guys? <laughs> how do you like the scenery? Took me all morning to find the perfect spot for you all. <laughs> It's beautiful out here. I'm in the western suburbs of Sydney and behind me, which I'll show you in a moment, is there's a, just a whole bunch of uh, a bird meeting going on, all kind of different birds. <laughs> Let's cut the BS. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Where are you all from? Where is everybody from? Give me some likes. Give me some hearts. Okay, so last week of the Consciousness Creator Summit, guys, how exciting. How very exciting. There has been some life-changing moments for a lot of you I know out there that have sh uh, were very kind enough to share with us how much this has made a big difference to, to their lives. So I just want to acknowledge and I just want to honour those people who have made the effort to jump on uh, live. Uh, good morning, little Rose Shine Sunshine. So I want to acknowledge those of you who really took on the challenge um, whether it be jumping on live, whether it would be catching the replays, I just really want to honour you guys and, and, and just say thank you for, for sticking with it. It hasn't been an easy task and uh, I know uh, a lot of you were very excited um, about jumping on to the summit and really kick-starting kick your 2009 with literally a high vibrational state um, and with basically kicking it to start with, a, a very, with positivity. And it's all thanks to the lovely and wonderful Ali O'Shea, which I just want to acknowledge. Um, I just want to say thank you to Ali for basically putting all this together. So if you do get a moment um, in your time, if you could just go out and thank Ali for putting this amazing thing together, bringing us all, coaches all around the world, joining forces, co-creating, uh, bringing this positivity to the start of your 2019. So I want to also acknowledge and uh, thank all the rest of my team. I want to thank uh, Lute, Vivian, Tony, Jason, and, um, and of course, the Miss Tapping Girl, uh, the lovely Colette, who I just noticed just jumped on. So welcome, guys. Thank you. And jump on, jump on, jump on. It's going to be uh, a really good live. I'm going to kick off with... Uh, how we can, how it's about time we cut the BS. And of course, BS stands for bullshit. <laughs> it certainly is. Yes, good morning. Thank you, Noreen. Thank you. And yes, please feel free to share everyone. So if you haven't already, I would like you to share uh, on, on your pages if you like, for those that you're allowed to share, of course. And, and I'm very excited. I'm excited for you all because I know that for most of you, it is time. Let, let's, let's not beat around the bush. It is time to cut the bullshit. And it's time to start making real shift happen, right? Would you agree that 2019 is the time that we all collectively, you started to really cut the BS and start making shift happen for yourself? We've given you the tools. All us coaches have given you the tools. And now it's up to you to decide what it is that you would like to do with it. Okay, so, so I want you to acknowledge that we all have the power within us. 
we all have the power within us to make remarkable things, absolutely amazing things. We have uh, such extraordinary powers that we simply don't even know or even aware of what it is that we're capable of. But I hope that what we've provided for you in January 2019 will give you some tools and strategies that will start making some serious shift happen for you all. And I have no doubt that some of you will take on some of what you've, what, what you've gained out of this uh, summit and really start creating the ultimate dream for yourself. So I know some of you have been wondering, uh, you know, when is it my time? When do I start making things happen and start creating and designing the life that I want? Well, no more waiting. It's now. This is the moment. And there's only, let me be, let's be honest, there's only so much motivational videos and clips that we can watch. There's only so much. But that feeling that we get during that time when we're in that, in that state is fantastic. But it's only short-lived, guys. It's only temporarily. And even though that's good, the only real thing that's going to help make a difference is that you start to decide and seriously take action. That's all it is. And the only reason why some of you may not be taking that action is because your why is not big enough. Think about your why. Why are you doing what it is that you're doing? Shifts happen, have happened to me for me so much through this month. I'm so happy to hear little Ray Sunshine. Stop the shit, start the shift. Love it, Carol. Love it. So guys, I, conscious creators, I invite you. I invite you to start taking a long, hard think about what it is that you truly want for yourself. I mean, seriously, take a moment and start to think about it. What is it that you want for yourself? Not for your family, not for your mom, your dad, your employer, you. What is it that you want? <laughs> it's, it's confrontational for some of you, I know. It's not easy. It's not an easy question to ask. But how often are we asking ourselves this question? What do I want? I mean, really want for myself. And I invite you to start asking that question. And, and just ask yourself, what is it that drives you? Some people ask, well, how do I find out? Ask yourself, what drives you? What is the purpose of getting up in the morning? What is your purpose? What's your passion? What is it that you live for? And a lot of the times we lack this. We lack, we lack the passion. We, our why is not big enough for the change the change that we so desperately desire and want in our life. So don't you think it's about time to cut the BS? Don't you think it's about time to cut the bullshit and start really making that shift for yourself? Start really making life happen for you? Isn't that ultimately what it's all about? Please feel free to comment. What is it that, um, that you're getting out of this? If you disagree, write, say, comment, I disagree. Why do you disagree? I really want to invite you to start asking the question, what is it that motivates you? Not something that motivated you five years ago, 10 years ago, now. What is it that motivates you? What drives you now? <laughs> and what old belief, what old belief system are you hanging on to? What limiting beliefs are we holding on to? What's running through your mind? You know, what is that? old emotional pattern that we keep running through loop in our mind over and over and over again. Those thoughts, feelings, emotions, what is going on through the mind? Time freedom, Angelina says, absolutely. Now guys, conscious creators, guys out there who are willing to start making that shift happen. I know that you know that once that internal belief is activated deep within you, that all things will move into form. That belief system, once activated deep within inside of you, will start to create the magic that you've been hoping and looking for and searching for. All we need to do is rewire that belief, change those limiting beliefs that do not serve you. Only you know what they are. <laughs> That's Colette speak. <laughs> so 
the real magic happens that when we do decide and we do start to make that shift and start taking action, that's where the magic happens. That's where the universe starts to conspire towards what it is that we want. The universe has our back. Hi, Miss Sheb from New York. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for those of you who have just jumped on. This morning's live is all about cutting the BS. Activate the reptilian brain, Johnny says. Absolutely. And we all have the power within us. It's up to us whether we decide whether we want to make it happen for us. Ultimately, it's really up to us. We've given you the tools. <laughs> it's up to you what you decide, what you want to do with them. And, and nothing more is rewarding for me as a coach when I work with, the, with my clients. That spark that just switches on the moment they realize the true power that lies within them. That is the most rewarding. If I were to be asked what's the most rewarding part of my job as a coach, and that is seeing that spark light up in people. You know, the moment they realize, holy moly, I am seriously powerful beyond what they initially thought they were. And the truth is, you are. And there's a lot of scientific evidence now that are coming through and proving that. But then again, I hear you say, I'm not good enough. I'm not ready enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm, I'll, I'll start my diet next week. <laughs> I'll start to exercise tomorrow when I get the new shoes. I call bullshit. <laughs> I call BS. That's BS. If you are ready, you will make the change now. You won't be waiting for tomorrow. You don't wait till next week. You don't wait until you bought the new running, the new joggers, jogging shoes. You start now. You don't, that's excuse. That's the same old excuse that you've been giving yourself since day dot. <laughs> How are you going to change if you continue to get in your own way? And that's exactly what we do. We literally get in our way. <laughs> Get out of the monkey mind, get out of the chatter and start really living and asking yourself, enough is enough. That's exactly right, Anne. Start, stop the bullshit. What gets you up in the morning, co-creators? Co what is it that gets you up in the morning? What is your passion? Ask yourself, what do I want? I mean, what do I really want? Not what you wanted five years ago, 10 years ago, now. Don't bullshit yourself, Johnny says. I agree, 100% agree. Find something you feel deeply connected to. Find something, you know, whatever it is. Is it a charity that you want to start? That you want to start making a difference into people's lives? Do it. Is it a meetup that you want to start creating? Do it. Are you, do you want to become a successful entrepreneur? Do it. Do you want to start you want to go to university and study, but all those years you thought you weren't good enough. Do it. That was me. That was one of my limiting beliefs. I started uni in my early 30s because up until that point, I thought I was not good enough. I didn't think I was smart enough. Bullshit. I call bullshit. <laughs> so it's up to you. Find what it is that you feel connected to deep, really deep within yourself and really tap into that, right? Tapping girl, I got your back. Tap into it. Tap into what it is that really drives you, really motivates you. So, I invite you to ask yourself what drives you. Think about where you are today and where you want to go. And I know for some of you, just like the way it is now, we started at the start of the year, yes, oh yes, I'm going to make this happen and you know, it's, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be wild, 2019 is my year. We're almost at the 2019. What action have you already started to take towards what it is that you planned? What action have you already taken? For some of you, you've taken some steps. Brilliant, I congratulate you. For those of you, I notice even the numbers on our lives are starting to drop. What's going on? You were all excited and pumped at the start of the year. Don't give up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself. We're here to help guide you. We haven't given, given up on you, so there's no reason why you should give up on yourself. 
find your why. Get out of your own mind. Start to make magic happen. I, I promise you, it is worth it. The results and the outcome and the growth that you gain whilst making it happen is totally worth it. I encourage you to go out and start making it happen. Keith says, been asking that question for a while now and have no answers, meditating on it, tapping, any number. My, I'm tapping my junk away and working on myself. Brilliant, Johnny, congratulations. I honor you to continue doing that. Decide what you want and talk yourself into it. That's it. Well said, Colette, just do it. No more bullshit. <laughs> All right, so I, 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 Narelle says haven't always caught on the lives but haven't missed one yet. Sorry guys, comments are just flying through, but I'll move on. So ask, you, ask yourself the questions. So, all right, so here's, here's the thing. Often I get my clients who come to see me, their language that they speak to, them, to me is, I can't do this, I don't know what I'm doing. And we have to be mindful and careful of the language that we are actually using and telling ourselves. What sort of what sort of language and belief systems are we impressing in our subconscious mind? So here's, here's what I want you to do. I want, if you are ready to start, really start transforming and changing your life. So the easiest way to start thinking about it is, for me, is to start thinking about your why. What type of human contribution and impact is it that you want to create? Think of it that way. So I know some of you have asked, well, how, what's my passion? I don't know what it is. Been asking that question for myself for a while. So turn the thought around and start thinking instead, what type of contribution and impact is it that you want to create for your human fellow beings, for the world? Your why is the thing that you most love. It's the most thing that you love to give to others. And it's the very thing that you most need to receive and feel for yourself. So maybe think of it that way. What sort of change do you want to see in the world or in the people in, around you? If you can only just change one person, can you imagine the ripple effect that that might have? I mean, on a global level. And one person has changed the world. <laughs> No more bullshit, Johnny says. I'm all jacked up now. Yes, yes, make it happen. Say yes. You can tell I'm a huge Tony Robbins fan. Yes, say yes. Unleash the power within. All right. So, so for example, when you're asking yourself, I need to keep myself back on track. Ask yourself, how is my why going to be bigger? What is my why? For example, my why is to help individuals and reconnect with their inner being so that they can start living a purpose, purposeful, pain-free and happier life. That's my why. I do what I do because nothing is more rewarding for me than seeing that light, that spark switch on in my clients' lives. Watching them take action and really seeing them create that change for themselves because when they've changed that direction for themselves, they're making change for not only themselves, but their family and the people around them. That's where the magic happens. <laughs> well done, that Sally. I honor you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making the time. So next time you decide, <laughs> next time you decide to, next time you decide to, to do a number on yourself, Call yourself out, call yourself BS, that's BS, that's bullshit. Okay, and take a look, a long hard look at the reasons why you can't achieve something. Why, take a look at the reasons why you can't achieve something. But think of all the reasons why you must. Think of the reasons why you must make it happen. So I invite you to observe and pay attention to what is really going on. Did that belief come from your upbringing? Did that belief come from the people that you used to surround yourself with or the people that you need to get rid of in your life? Start thinking about long, hard th thoughts. Pay attention. 
Let go of the labels. Let go of the labels. Let go of the old patterns, the beliefs that were built in false pre premise. They are not true. Remember the example I told you earlier, I started my university degree, I've always wanted to go to university, but up until I was in my early 30s, I thought I was not good enough. I didn't think I was smart enough to go to university. Jeez, I proved myself wrong. <laughs> so I encourage you and invite you to start taking a, 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 a long, hard look and think and feel and observe where this thought coming from, this pattern coming from. So if you are at that point in your life that you're feeling stuck and happy and unhappy and maybe because of the labels that you're constantly repeating to yourself, that repeti rep repetitive, relentless self-talk that has left you feeling stuck. So the next time you feel like you're being tormented by your own mind, observe. Observe what labels you're putting on them and think about where is this bullshit coming from tap the bullshit out <laughs> that's it that's the way Colette that's how we do it that's how we roll so oh look at all these beautiful comments are, are you guys getting this give me some hearts here give me some hearts are you getting this good morning Andy welcome thank you for joining so next time you do start to feel like you're stuck give me some hearts if you're getting this are you all with me of course you are. You're all smart, intelligent human beings. So next time you do start, you catch yourself, you, you catch yourself, you think and observe and you think, oh, what on earth am I thinking here? Where is this thought going? I want you to call bullshit and tell yourself, what the duck is going on? I've got plenty of ducks behind me. What the duck is going on? Change, shift that thought pattern. Redirect yourself back to yourself, not the past, not the future, to yourself now. Question yourselves, and this is, a, this is how I work with my clients. Question yourself, for sure, Sheb, loud and clear. Questions will determine direction. If you are, if you find yourself, catch yourself in a moment where you are thinking ridiculously about your, those old patterns start to come into mind. Catch yourself and ask, what the duck is going on? Because questions will determine direction. Ask a great question and you stimulate your mind and start to search for answers. Rather than say, like for example, the clients I've coached, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not, I'm not thin enough. I'm not fit enough. I'm not healthy enough. Are these the type of questions that will give you the answers? Hell no. Heck no. <laughs> Ask the right question. Asking the right question will start help you bring you back on track by putting your mind in a positive direction that starts to lead and stimulate creative solutions. So we're thinking about the solution rather than the problem itself. So instead of telling yourself, I can't, I shouldn't, I dare not to, <laughs> start to consider questions such as, what would happen if I could? Think about it. What would happen if I could? What would happen, my apologies, Ask the question, reframe yourself and ask the question, what would happen if I did? Ask yourself that question. The point is to break those thought patterns that keep you stuck, that keep you in the same position that you were last year, five years ago, ten years ago. Face the fear and do it anyway, Ali says. Yes, tap the bullshit away. I agree. Well said. B is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. I love that acronym. So, rather than saying, I can't, I shouldn't, I have no idea, I'm not good enough, start to question. Start to question what would happen if I did. 
What would if what if I fall? Oh my darling, but what if you fly? says Ali says. Beautiful. Can't, couldn't. Start getting all these words out of your vocab. Get out of the habit of using those words. And obviously replace those words with yes, I can. Be brave enough to succeed. I totally agree, Johnny. I totally agree. What would happen if you did? What would happen if you could? So do you think do you think that you might grow into a better version of yourself? So if you did decide to change those thought patterns, do you think maybe you will start to become the best version of yourself? Think about it. I I have a feeling that you might agree. If you fall, turn around and look at the sky or the stars. Beautiful, Anne. Beautiful. So, my point is, guys, my point is, co-creators, for all of you who have followed me, who have commented, thank you all. Let go of the bullshit. Stop telling yourself that you can't or shouldn't. According to whom? According to whom you can't? Or according to what, what would happen? What would happen if you did or didn't? Like Thomas the Train, I can because I know I can. Absolutely, Andy. Thank you for commenting. So challenge yourself. I invite you to start to challenge yourself with these ideas and start realizing that you are the only one that says that you can't. <laughs> so start to challenge and think about that self. Let go of the judgment. Let go of the self-sabotage and start living and creating the life of your dreams. Get the duck out of my own head. <laughs> That's exactly right, Johnny. My pleasure, Tracy. My pleasure. So, before I jump, before I go away, I'm going to do a brief visionary exercise with you. Are you all getting this? Give me some likes. Duck off. <laughs> Tracy says, I'm the only one who can make the change. 100%. Give me some likes if you're hearing this, if you're getting this. If any of this is resonating with you, give me some hearts, give me some likes, give me some love. I love you all. Thank you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it... You don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> That's it, Johnny. Yeah, you all get the point. The oar is in the boat. All right. Thank you so much for all your support. Now what we're going to do is finish off with a visionary exercise. But... I have to turn on some music, so just give me a moment. And I'm running low on this battery. So I really love this song. It's called Namaste. Actually, this is on Jason Stevenson's YouTube, on YouTube video. So. Okay, we are going to start a visionary exercise. So I want you to start by getting yourself into a nice, comfortable position. Feel free to place your hands over your heart. And we're going to begin. All right, no more bullshit. No more BS. This is time. Co-creators, it is time. It is time to start making shift happen. Could you all hear that music? Can you hear that music? Okay. All right, ladies, gentlemen, co-creators, people of the world, I want you to place your hand on your heart and gently, and gently close your eyes. This is a beautiful music. I love this track. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging. Thank you. Okay. Brief visionary ex exercise. Closing your eyes. Taking a deep breath in. And I want you to start to imagine yourself five years from now. Five years from now, where do you see yourself?
I want you to imagine yourself five years ago from today. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What are you seeing? What are you touching? What are you sensing? Five years from today. Think about it. How are you? What are you surrounded by? What thoughts, feelings, emotions are going through your mind? What sensations are you feeling through your body? What are you smelling, tasting, touching, the people around you? What sort of change have you created for yourself? I want you to now take yourself 10 years from today. 10 years from today. Where are you? What are you doing? What are you thinking, feeling, smelling, tasting, touching? 10 years from today. What are you doing? Where do you see yourself? Are you owning your shit? Have you cut the bullshit? Have you let go of the past? Are you living for the moment? Have you created the change that you've so desperately been seeking all your life? Are you living the dream? Are you successful? Are you wealthy? Are you healthy? Are you fit? Take yourself 20 years from now. Where are you? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What are you tasting? What are you touching? Are you happy? Are you being you? Are you living for you or are you living for somebody else? It's time to cut the BS. It's time to unleash what you've always dreamed of. No more dreaming, no more wishing, no more hoping. Make it happen. Make it happen for yourself because you are worthy, you are deserving, you are love. You're a human being having a spiritual experience. Let this magnificent body guide you, act as a vehicle for you, the body that you're currently in. Make it happen. Make the shift. No more bullshit. Cut the old story. Recreate. Recreate who you really are. Bring that to the surface. Don't ever forget the love that you are. You are powerful more than you think, more than beyond words. Don't ever forget the power which you have inside of you. It's time, co-creators. It's really time to start making Start making it happen. Get out of your mind. Get out of the, let go of the naysayers. This is your life. This is the life that you were born to live. Live the life. Design the life. Recreate the life that you want. It's not too late. It's never too late. The power of imagination. This is your new superpower, co-creators. The power of imagination. Don't underestimate the power of your imagination because it is what will drive you to wherever it is that you want to go. Oh, wow. That is brilliant.
This is a very brief, short exercise that you can do on a, on a regular basis. Do it five, 10 minutes a day. Don't lose focus on what it is that you really want and what you've set yourself out to achieve. What a beautiful last life, thank you. Oh, my, my absolute pleasure, Narelle. I really appreciate you joining us, thank you. Any questions, guys, for my last life for you in January 2019? Any last feedback, comments, please feel free to comment what, did, what you got out of that. Did you get anything out of that? Did my life for you today resonate anything for you? Did you feel any spark? My purpose here, hands over heart, with a, what a connection. Oh, beautiful Keith, thank you. Hand over heart. Make the shift happen, cut the bullshit. Get rid of the old story and start. It's not too late to recreate a new story for yourself. It is not too late. Thank you so much. I'm gonna love and let you go. I'm going to say thank you all to my amazing team the wonderful co-creators, the coaches all around the world, Tony, Vivian, the wonderful Ali. Please thank Ali O'Shea for her, for her reason, her purpose that brought this whole summit together. Uh, Lute, Jason Stevenson, Tapping Girl. I want to thank you all for, oh my God, I'm getting really emotional here. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Get the duck out of my hand head. That's it. I love you all. Thank you so much. Love and light. Don't forget who you are and why you're here. <laughs>